In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create personalized thumbnails for Linktree that look like this using Canva. Hello, hello friends. It's Larissa Nguyen here, Realtor with EXP Realty. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, this is the place on the internet where I help real estate agents elevate their content creation game using Canva and how to take their real estate careers to the next level with the Wolfpack here at EXP Realty. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create personalized thumbnail icons for Linktree. This is a great way to utilize and leverage the free version of Linktree, which I have. So to begin, we're going to start off at the Canva home page, and we are going to create a design that is 500 by 500 pixels. Create. Now, before we begin to preface this, I am going to be creating icons with a transparent background. Now, creating a transparent background in Canva is a premium feature. So if you are interested in trying out Canva Pro for free for 30 days, I have a Canva affiliate link down in the description box below. So check it out. Now I'm going to show you how I created my icons here on my link tree and just really simple designs, just a XP one, Canva one, and my wolf pack symbol here. Now, I'm going to show you how I created those ones and then I'm going to show you another way that you can do that is much more easier than how I did my version of the icon. So what I did is go into elements and I just went to frames, love me my frames, and then I just made this circle frame take up the whole, whole page. Now I think I have this fave elements no no right here so I have a, an image of my branding colors for my YouTube tutorial channel so this is what I have I have an image so I just dragged that into there and what I'm gonna do is lock it in place so it does not move so now that you have your circle icon in place now we can add the elements on top or the icons on top so in this case let's say I wanted to do uh, maybe a computer icon. So if I had a website, this is where I would push people to go. So I have an Etsy shop for some of my Canva real estate templates. So let's say I was creating an icon for that one. So I would just make it look white so it's aesthetic, fits with my feed. Um, so that's basically how I created my icon. Now you can do anything and everything with this. You can put any kind of image on top and then all you have to do is just go up to share, go to download, PNG, and then you want to click on the transparent background and download. Now you know it will be a premium feature if it has that Canva crown there. So again, link in description for the Canva Pro trial. Now, the second way I'm going to show you to make this a lot easier um, is you want to go to your elements and we're going to look up gradient circle. Now there are the free ones here that you can use. So this one is great, but, oops, but I prefer using this kind of pink peachy one. And the great thing about it, about this one is that you can, can change the colors uh, to your branding. So let's say I was doing one for my real estate link tree and I wanted to drive people to my uh, website for my listing. So let's say I'm just going to put a house emoji in. Uh, actually, I like this one because it has a heart. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. And then just make it white because aesthetics, right? So that's basically how you create your icons. Now I'm going to show you how to use this icon here. So I'm going to download this first one. So again, go to download and I'm just going to make sure I download just the first one here with the transparent background. And I'm going to download that to my desktop. All right, so now that you have that downloaded, go into your Linktree account. It is, again, free to create a Linktree account. If you don't have one, I recommend it. 
So this is a great uh, link to put in your Instagram bios. Now, so I created my Etsy shop uh, icon. So basically, if you were at the links up here, which is basically the homepage, to use this, you want to go in to your, it says right here, thumbnail. You click that and then you put set thumbnail so you can upload your own or you can use some of the icons that Linktree provides on the platform. But because we created our own, we are going to select our own. So we're just going to select files to upload, have it in downloads right here and just upload that and crop it to fit. But we already made it the dimensions fit because we did that in Canva. So save upload let let it do its thing and boom there you go icon and now it fits perfectly with your branding so you can test the link out and see what it does and it brings you to my canva etsy real estate shop where you can download some of my canva templates so definitely check that out link will be in the description so that is how you create free personalized canva thumbnail icons for linktree that is a mouthful so anyways i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to check out my other canva tutorials right over here and until next time i will see you all next time bye friends